What's up everyone? What's going on? Welcome to day, well I don't know what day, but like confession number 11. So confession number 11 in my 20 day series of confessions. So one second while I just invite some people and if you're here, say hi to me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see you because I haven't been able to see anybody. But I'm going to make this super quick, super fast. Um, there. I've invited some people. Okay. So <clears throat> if you're watching the replay, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, how people are our mirrors, right? And... I want to talk to you specifically in the coaching industry because I've had the opportunity now to coach a lot of um, a lot of clients and a lot of people, and I've had the opportunity to be coached by several coaches. And here's what I've learned: I've learned that people are our mirrors. If you're getting triggered by a lot of different things, if you're seeing somebody who has a lot of the things that you think you want, and they're showing up continuously, and it's it's pissing you off, it's like you know um, pressing your buttons. There's a reason, there's a mirror in there. If you're feeling if you're feeling jealous of somebody, if you have a client who you feel like has it all or you have a coach and you're feeling very jealous, I, I want you to just really pay attention because they're mirroring or if you're judging them. You know, sometimes as a coach, you know, you, you not that you're judging your clients because I don't do that, but, um, or if I ever feel like I am, I definitely try to take a step back. It's like really... Um, it's not a very nice thing to do to judge people, right? But at the end of the day, we're all human. And so sometimes we find ourselves getting triggered and we're like, oh, well, why would they do that, right? But then in my opinion, a good coach takes a step back and is like, well, okay, like let's take a look at this from what the bigger picture is. And that's what I've had to really, you know, teach myself what I've to do. But I've also had to really take a look in the mirror and see how my clients or my coaches, how they're, how we're mirroring each other. So a lot of times what would happen would be, I would come up with this like amazing idea or I thought it was an amazing idea. And always when I have these great ideas, I always share it with my clients. And, and you know, maybe that's probably not the best business practice, but I always do. And, and especially when I'm on a call with them, like I'm always into, you know, what are amazing ideas and what's the best thing I can help them with and what are the ways that, um, you know, what, whatever is coming through my head, especially when I'm on the phone with them, I'm telling you right now, I get really good ideas. And even when I'm off the phone with my clients, like I still, um, like the ideas are always going in my head. That's just how I work. I just, I just don't ever stop thinking about that stuff. Right. And I really believe that they are intuitively given to me these ideas as well. I don't think that it's all just me. Okay. <laughs> and anyways, and then I always like to take a look and like see how that's a mirror for myself. So sometimes I'll come up with like really great ideas for my clients. And then I take a step back and I'm like, okay, that would be amazing in my life too, like in my business. And, and it really is a reflection. I've had a lot of clients literally mirror me. I've also mirrored my coaches like directly. I also noticed that when I really need, when I'm really feeling weak or when I'm really feeling vulnerable, when I'm really feeling down, some for some reason strong people get to get put right in front of me or the exact role model the exact mentor that I needed at that moment gets put in my life almost by magic and what I have found is that's also a mirror because that is very much who I am as well um I just have to go and I have to find that strong part of me I really want you to take like, take a look at this, especially in business, especially if you're a service-based industry or you're a coach, but take a look at it into your life as well. I mean, people are your mirrors. And I think sometimes we don't take, like we don't spend enough time like doing self-reflection on this and being like, okay, like why am I getting triggered? Why am I getting pissed off? Why is this person annoying me? And like, especially I can tell you, I'm just going to be out, out myself right now because I'm definitely not a saint. Like I do this. Somebody pisses me off very fast. Like as a police officer, I would I'm very judgmental because I had to be. Police officers, first responders, sheepdogs, very judgmental because we have to be because that's what is going to save our lives. We have literally seconds to size you up and decide whether or not you're going to try to hurt me. I mean, that's just the way that it is. And so, you know, you, you when you when that's what you do, 
all the time, you kind of do that in your life, right? And so you, you become very judgmental. And what I've had to learn to do is I had to take a step back. Like, okay, wait a minute. Like, why am I judging this person? Or why do I feel so envious over this fucking coach or this person or this mentor or whatever? You know what? I'm going to tell you that I've been in situations where my coach has become jealous of me and has given me really bad advice or has like tried to stop me from growing. Um, I've been in situations like that. I pray that you never get into that situation, but that's reality because we're all, we're all human. At the end of the day, we're all in this human experience and whether it sucks or it doesn't, it is what it is. And so, you know, the best thing that I can tell you, you know, just to wrap this up so I don't go on and on and on for you. The best thing I can tell you is to realize that people around you are mirrors. They're mirroring you. And so, and they don't even like, I really don't believe it. it's um, anybody tries that, tries to, right? But like, I know for me, like I have the perfect clients always when I need them. Always, always, always. I have the perfect clients when I'm the perfect fit for them. I always do. They just come into my life and it's, it's this perfect mirror. And whether it's because I'm, you know, maybe I just went through what it is that they've gone through or... Or, you know, maybe I've learned this lesson that they need to learn or I, I've learned this like marketing strategy or this business strategy and or whatever. It, it's always perfect and I believe that's a mirror. And I just really want you to take a few minutes to kind of step back and just really think about that and think about who's in your life and how they are mirroring you and how they're mirrors of you and, how, and, and take a look at your reflection, right? And get really real with that. And the, and the last thing that I just want to say, because I'm feeling very compelled to say it, is I just want you to breathe. Like, I just want you to take a fucking breath. And in business, everybody thinks that, you know, you just got to be doing and doing and doing. And, and I'm not taking away from the hustle or I'm not taking away from working hard because if you want a business, that's what you're going to have to do. And truthfully, maybe I'll do a video, maybe tomorrow, somebody remind me. Tomorrow I'll do a video and I will literally tell you what my day to day looks like and what it has looked like for two years as an online business entrepreneur. It's not fucking pretty. It's not pretty. It is not pretty. I, you know, the best part about it is I'm mobile. That's what is pretty about it is I am mobile. So Tuesday nights are girl nights at my, with um, my best friends. And what the cool thing is, it, it doesn't mean my work stops. It doesn't mean I don't do my live streams. It doesn't mean I don't take my client calls. I can just do it and go in the other room or go in my car and I can still work and still enjoy my life. You know what I mean? That's that's probably the most glamorous part of, about what I do um, other than I get to work with people who I really, really love. And I really learn to honestly get to know them and my one-on-one -on -one clients I really just form amazing um, relationships with. But, so, you know, I really just want you... To understand that it, while it is working hard and you do need to hustle the build and you do need to do these things, you need to take a fucking breath as well because you need to stay, and, and I hate to use these fluffy words that people might not like, but you need to stay aligned. And, 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 and what I mean by that is you just need to stay true. Just stay true to you. And, and I think out of anything in this series that I want you to get, it's that number one thing is to stay true to you. And I'm telling you this. Because I did not. I, I tried to be like this coach and that coach and that mentor. And I tried to say the things that this person wanted me to say. And I tried to be the person that this person told me who I was. And I was not staying true to myself. And so what did I do? You've seen me change my niche. You've seen me focus on this part of me and this part of me and this part of me. And that's what I've done. And I'm trying. I just want to save one person from fucking doing that and telling you, if you can just stay true to who you are right now, no matter what, uh, by slowing down and stop trying to be in such a hurry, everything will change. Like you need to understand that you can make the money that you want to make while being happy and um, maybe slow down a little bit. Because I can tell you, I've had big dollar months and big dollar days. And those days, I wasn't working my ass off. Like it was, it just came. Why? Because I kind of relaxed. I was just like, okay, cool. You know, universe, here's what I need. And and it, you know, it happened. You know, nothing great is going to come out of, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I need, I need, I need. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get. I'm going to work harder. I'm going to work harder than anybody else. I've got to be like this coach. I'm going to be like this person. i got to say this. Like, nothing good is going to come out of that. How do I know? I've, I've done it. Okay? 
And maybe you're going to make $10,000 from doing that. But I'm going to tell you something, you're going to be miserable. And then like all of the work that you're going to have to do for the next two months, because you just made that $10,000 is going to make you want to jump off a cliff. I literally had a fucking calendar filled of 25 one-on-one -on -one clients that I would take every single week, every single week. I wanted to jump off a cliff. I made $10,000 that month, but I wanted to jump off a cliff. Now, I don't have to do that anymore. Okay. I don't have to do that. I sit back. I take my two to three one-on-one -on -one clients. I make good money from that. I do my group thing. I have a mastermind. Um, it's called the Boss Witch Mastermind. If you're interested in that, comment below or private message me. But I have a, I have a mastermind that I do. I have my one-on-one -on -one clients that I do. And I have courses that I sell. And I'm telling you, it is so far like less stressful. Okay. And I'm not trying to be like anybody else. And that's where I want you. Okay. So I know I kind of, kind of went a bit on a rant. I kind of went like this way and this way, but just understand just to wrap this up for you. Everybody in like people are mirroring you. They're mirrors and just take a step back and reflect. And if you see somebody who's wicked negative and stressed out and it continuously triggers you, you don't like that. You don't like that part of you in you. Do you, do you understand that? And if you're seeing somebody who's massively successful and you're, you're just, it's triggering you, you can have what they have, but maybe what they have isn't exactly what you want. And maybe your subconscious knows that. And so it's preventing you from having that. Like, you know, I, I had my one-on-one -on -one client. She, um, she happens to be on here, but I'm not going to name her. Um, I, I told her this the other day, I, you know, and I did it myself because I'm going to wash my, my toss like I always do. And I said, you need to write down what your, um, your end goal is. You need to write down what your end result is because my, what my end result and what I think success is, is definitely not what your end result is and what you think success is. Does that make sense? So it's different for everybody and you're going to be striving for somebody else's success and somebody else's end result, unless you're clear on what yours is. And I promise you, the more that you strive for somebody else's, the more miserable you're going to be. Promise. Mm -hmm. Promise. I know because I've done it. Um, so, anyways, it's good to be back. I have, if you guys are commenting, can't see. If you're giving me hearts, I can't see, but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. If this video will be on YouTube, if you're watching it on YouTube, share this to anybody who might need it. Um, and if you are in my group or wherever and you, and you get this, or this is in your email, share this to somebody who might need it. I would really appreciate it. Okay. Um, again, if you're like autumn, like, how do I hang out with you? I want to work with you. Um, I just private message me. There's a couple of different ways. The most inexpensive way, um, is $97 a month. I've got a mastermind going. You're more than welcome to come on in there, but if you just enjoy hanging out, I just love having you here. So thank you for hanging out with me. Um, and I'm going to let you go because I've got a client, and but I'll talk to you later, okay?